Hey guys, welcome to Hidden Heights Farm. I am Rachel and today we're going to talk about something super easy that can actually save the lives of your goats. I mean, you would not believe just how easy this is and I'm going to share that with you today. But first, we're going to take a look at the goats and I'll show you some of the babies uh, playing around here and they're actually going crazy because <laughs> they thought I was going to feed them when I came out here. It's not quite their feeding time, so they're kind of being loud and telling me, hey, bring me my food. But let's take a look at some of these goats. So they're, they're not very happy because I didn't bring them their food yet. So they're kind of they're telling me about it. <laughs> but it's been a beautiful day. They've been out here munching on the green grass. Um, they've been out here munching on the green grass and enjoying the sunshine today. And just all the babies have been out here playing and running and then they nap a little bit in between. Um, they're just having a blast. And some of them are over here playing on that plum tree. And in the last video, Kevin was asking you guys if you thought maybe he should uh, cut it down because it is a little bit of an eyesore, but everybody said it has character and to keep it. So I think we will take you guys' advice and definitely keep that tree around because it does have special meaning to us here. And the girls are getting a drink. We sure love our chickens around here. They're having a blast. They were over here checking out the feeder. I know you guys are upset with me. You thought you were going to get fed right now. It's not quite time. And bear with me, it's super windy. I hope it don't pick up too much wind noise. What are you doing, man? Huh? What you doing? Look at this, guys. Really? Really? That's Granger or Earl? I can't remember which one this one is. They're a little ornery. They're like, hey, pay attention to me. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, Shadow? What a beautiful day. Really? Stop. What are you doing? <laughs> You're gonna make a hole in my pants. You're gonna, oh, touch me not. Okay guys, so I've gotta go pick up Kaya from school here in a little bit. I actually went and got Caleb today uh, around lunchtime. He was not feeling very good. His allergies are really acting up. So he's actually home with me. He's upstairs resting and so I thought, well, while I'm home with a sick kid, I'll come out here since he's resting and I will share this life-saving tip with you guys because it has made a huge difference on our farm. I'm telling you, it's like, I know a lot of people use the term game changer, but it seriously has been a game changer for our livestock management. And it's something so easy that anybody can do um, I mean it's just I wish we would have done this years ago it would have saved us a lot of heartache and that's one reason that we do have the YouTube channel here is to share um, tips and tricks with you <laughs> that we've learned over the years from just not knowing certain information or making mistakes and finding an easier way so I know a couple of videos ago um, we did show you us working the goats 
Oh my gosh, the wind's picking up, of course. We did show you guys um, of us working the goats um, in the uh, spin shoot. That thing is awesome. I know it didn't look like <laughs> we had it down very well at first. It was only Kevin's second time using it and my first time. But after we took the tires off of it, it went so much smoother because it kept trying to get hung up on that tire and you're actually supposed to take them off anyway. But we thought, hey, we don't need to take that off, but you know, live and learn. But that thing has made it so much easier working the goats and trimming hooves. And, and you've seen us give the copper bolus um, or the copper peel with the bolus gun. And that is one step that we have done and I know we had a lot of tips and tricks of different ways to give that copper um, bolus pill but the bolus gun has just it's been the easiest thing for us I know it doesn't look the easiest but really it has worked the best for us and I know every farmer is different so it's just it works well for us but there's tons of different ways to do it so but I'm gonna go ahead and go get this game changing item and show you guys just how easy it is uh, to help with your livestock management. Okay guys, here is my super easy life-saving tip. This product right here can save the lives of your goats and it can save all kinds of issues down the road. It can save issues on when you have goat birthings. I mean just, the list is endless what this can do. And what this is, is loose mineral. So, I'm not gonna take this out in the pasture just yet because they see me holding this bag and they know what it is and they're already hollering at me because they are ready for their bucket to be filled with this. So, this is a loose mineral. And here's the brand that we found that our goats seem to love the most. Now we are not sponsored in any way by this company. Uh, I think we bought this at, I wanna say Atwoods. This is, we found this at Atwoods, I believe. Um, I'll see if Kevin can put a link down in the description to it. But by far, this has been our goats' favorite loose mineral. And, let's see. I'm gonna read all the stuff it has in it. It's on the tag here. So instead of reading it all, I'll just do a close up so you guys can see. And you can actually look on the website also. But it's got tons of different minerals. And one of the most important minerals that we are deficient in here on our farm is copper and also selenium. Since we started giving the loose minerals, um, we've not had any kids with leg issues that have been born with leg issues, weak legs. Um, our parasite control is so much better. We also do a copper bolus, which I'll have Kevin put a uh, eye card up because a couple videos ago, we did show us working the goats and giving a copper bolus that is something we do every six months, along with the loose minerals. Those two things have just been a lifesaver on our farm. And another way to help with, when you do the copper bolus, we always give selenium gel and vitamin E. That's just something that, that keeps the uh, copper bolus in the bolus gun when we give it. And it also gives them an extra dose of selenium. Um, if you don't know if your area is copper deficient, you can actually take test uh, soil samples over to your local extension office and have them test your soil to see what is lacking in your soil. Um, we've done that before here. And there's also maps you can look at to see generally if your area is deficient in certain minerals. So I wanna go ahead and take this bucket over to the goats because they oh gosh they already see me with it so I'm going to show you actually what this looks like so that's just that's what it looks like kind of looks like brown sand but they will not eat too much of this 
because it has a certain amount of salt in it that they will not they will not get too much of it because they'll ha they'll actually take a break and go drink because there's a whole lot of salt in it just I think for that purpose so anyway I'm gonna go give this to them over here they may knock me down I don't know because they love this stuff and they know I've got it I think as soon as I poured it in the bucket they could smell it They just really want this. Oh, now. Bambi, get back. Okay. This is going to be tricky. Knock my camera down. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them. <laughs> they go crazy over this stuff. <laughs> Watch out. Watch out. Look, they're already looking for it. Watch out, guys. Ah! Oh, my goodness. You guys. I told you they love it. So I'm going to take a little bit and I'm going to put in this bowl out here because we actually need to add another mineral feeder. showed you that feeder before I poured that in. My mistake. Okay guys, so I will put a link in the description to show you uh, an option for a loose mineral feeder. Um, you can get them off Amazon. You can get them at Tractor Supply or Atwoods, any place like that. So 
But you can see, they love it. They love it. Absolutely love it. Shadow, I just gave you some. <laughs> it's like they're going crazy. They've only been out for maybe a day, for two days, and that's how much they love it. It's it's awesome. Guys, come on. Okay. Here you go. You won. <laughs> you won. <laughs> they just knocked the bucket out of my hand. Jeez. So. <laughs> Uh-oh. Girls, don't battle. Don't fight. Don't fight. Jeez. Come on now. Oh, now none of them are over here. Except Ghostface. Okay, so now I can show you. Here's one example of a loose mineral feeder that we have. Gross. Anyway. That's one example. I'll show you another example in the other barn. And they both work really, really well. Okay guys, I'm out here at the other barn with the Spanish and Kiko, and I'm gonna show you the other mineral feeder that we use out here. Um, I actually need to move it, but I need Kevin's help to move it. So I'll have to wait until he gets home from work to get his assistance on that. But we will be giving them more loose minerals and moving their feeder out so they all can so they all <laughs> I can't talk today okay guys I'm out here at the other barn where the Spanish and Kiko herd is and I am going to show you the other loose mineral feeder that we use I actually need to move it somewhere else in the barn but I need Kevin's assistance to do that <laughs> So I'll have to wait for him to get home from work so he can assist me with that. But I assure you they, they will be getting more loose minerals. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. So let me step in here and I apologize for the light already because it's going to adjust here. Oh, dang, I woke them all up. They're all chilling out in here. Hi, baby girl. How are you? Hi, Daisy. Hi, Daisy. So here is the other <laughs> loose mineral feeder and Daisy's tails on the way there. This one works excellent. Um, it works really, really well also. Both feeders do. Hi, baby girl. I know, I know, your nose is still irritated. Yeah, I know, I won't touch it. So, bless her heart. So yeah, for those of you who have been asking about Daisy, we are going to have to take her back to the vet because her nose is still just very inflamed and irritated. I don't know if you can see it, but I mean, it's just, it looks not very good. I mean, she hasn't bled anymore, but hi everybody. What are y'all doing? You hanging out? Just chilling? Just chilling out. Did I disturb your nap time? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll come back and feed you after Kevin gets home. Okay, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I appreciate you guys joining me on a little bit different farm vlog today. Uh, with me being home with Caleb, he's not feeling too good. And him laying down and taking a nap allowed me to come out here and share some awesome tips with you guys. I hope it helps somebody out there. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment, and we'll see you guys next time. Get the pleasure of being on video with you guys. <laughs> guys, Pedro, cut all that. Is that crooked? <laughs> okay, guys, I appreciate you. Nope.